believe that when Chevrolet gave us a sneak look at the 2016 Camaro a couple of months before the autos divulging, we were. All things considered, we were disillusioned. Gracious, it's a nice sufficiently looking thing, in a cartoonish, Transformers kind of way. However, staying there in an austere room profound inside the organization's Warren, Michigan, grounds, the new Camaro's stocky extents, low rooftop, and squinting eyes influenced it to resemble a basic invigorate of the then-current fifth-age auto that was stopped alongside it. It was the modernized 1969 Camaro once more. Just this time an alternate anime craftsman drew the thing. We realized that the new Camaro would be lighter than the old one, to some degree since it would write on a rendition of the Alpha stage that serves Cadillac so well in the ATS and the CTS. Also, obviously, we realized that it would convey the Corvette Stingray's muscular 6.2 liter LT1 little piece V8 and SS adaptations. What we didn't know amid our initial peep at the last plan was the manner by which flawlessly the greater part of this componentry would cooperate to shape such a kick-ass sports roadster. A games roadster so ass-kickingly great, actually, that the organization could have catapulted the body of the old Malibu Max to it despite everything we'd battle about the keys. Be that as it may, we're losing trace of what's most important. That styling with its thin openings for side windows, fat C column, and short back glass has, in fact, done nothing to enhance the outward perceivability in this new auto. It is appalling. We acclimated to it, somewhat by quickening hard before performing path changes just to clear some room. Change your mirrors deliberately. The inside of the Ford Mustang feels dance hall open by correlation. <laughs>